Hello everybody, my name is Zero Damaru and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this party started. With a war against the King of France, who currently has shit all for levies. We do too, but we have more than he does. So, declare war. And we are going to claim my de jure claim on Nevers. We're going to send that off. Go into my allies and call in as many of my allies as I can. Uh, oh, that's declaring war. I don't want to do that. Alright, and hopefully they will respond here fairly shortly. Grab everybody and... Go ahead and meet down in... Actually, you want, hold on, I might want to do this a little bit differently. You guys go here. And you guys go up to here. You guys go here. This should hopefully prevent him from sniping off any of my troops. He might get a 20 stack, but other than that... Um, alright, you're not going to join my war, my war, I didn't expect you to. Excellent, so we have East Francia joining in. Uh, and, um... Lorithian, uh, however the hell you pronounce that. Might have been too harsh to the courtiers of, at Bourbon, but Chancellor Mayor uh, Orson have managed to calm them down. Even like me more just by giving them a half day off. Um... Alright, well, how can I ever reward you? Oh yeah, that reminds me, actually. Let's go ahead and pause real quick. I have... No, I don't. Alright, I thought I had some prisoners. Alright, then we're gonna go ahead and merge them both in Burges, and then go from there. Merge them together. I'm gonna be leading from there. Whoops. Um... Why can't I bring my son into this? Oh, whatever. Probably because he's right there. Let's see if we can hunt them down. There we go. That'll be a nice start to the war. That kills off like about half of his strength, I think. Oh, and then we just caught somebody else, I guess. We're going to go ahead and uh, start sieging out this province here. And we can probably... I've already got this game on a nice high speed. Actually, that's probably too high for wartime. Go ahead and slow it down just a little bit. Alright, East Francia is sending in a good 2,000 men. I wish this was for more than just one little county, but whatever. That's how we're going to have to grow our kingdom, at least for now, until we have enough... Um, how many people do we have here in total? Uh, until we can, um, you know claim the entire Kingdom of France. So this war is not going to take too long, I don't think. And it's nice to know that my allies have got my back. Yep, in comes more East Francian armies. How's this rebellion going for them? Are they still in open rebellion, or have they actually succeeded? Um... No, nope, they're still in a war for independence. Um. Alright. Yeah, I mentioned a church career. I don't really want to give you a, uh, a county at the moment. Maybe after I claim some more land, but until then. Um, alright, what's everybody doing? You should actually probably go back to... Well, actually. What's the levy? What are the levies like here? I suppose I have them raised right now. That d doesn't actually make sense to check them, does it? Oh, we do have some more minor titles. Another commander can be appointed. Sure. My commanders are kind of garbage. Alright, first siege of the never... Of the, uh, the primary seat in Nevers is done. We have the, uh, K 
county capital. Then we have the bishopric of La Chalet Charité, Charité that we are sieging out now. What is... what are you guys doing? Yeah, be careful there, guys. <laughs> like, you don't want to get, uh... Oh, is that a wise fight to start? Yeah, it looks like they're winning. So far, anyway, but... I mean, we've seen how fast battles can turn. Oh, yeah, they've got that. They must have some good leaders or something. Yeah, poor France is uh, not having a good time of it. They are... Uh, unfortunately, this is going to put us into a truce with them long enough that... My current ruler might not be in the best position to actually pick up that mantle. Speaking of, actually... Mastermind Theologian. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> we might actually suggest a, uh, a career in the church for this guy because, holy shit... Um, no, I wanted to check something here. What was it? I completely forgot. Oh, it looks like my son had a daughter. Oh, he was wounded. That's no good. Okay. Yeah, I can't... I don't know. Obviously, it wasn't that important. I don't remember what the hell I wanted to check at all. Oh, hello. Where'd you guys come from? I mean, I'm not too worried about that, considering that I ha I think I have more than that, kind of sitting on the same uh, space, but still, eh, that's kind of worrying that you're sitting there. Um, But I do kind of need to move up now that we're done sieging everything here. Where are you going? Orleans. Uh, how many men do I, does East Francia have here? Oh, like 8,000 men. Okay. We're good. Are you guys going to join me? Come on. The kidnappers overpowered me and made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag into my mouth. Luckily, they did not get uh, far away with me. Count Jocelyn and the guards managed to free me and capture them. Man, I steward is kicking ass. All right, we're going to start the fight, and hopefully my uh, loyal ally here will come and help out. Right, ally? Okay. Oh, no, they've actually... The, the army that was there decided to piss off. Not sure where they went, actually. They must have gotten disbanded. The only thing I can think of. Okay, uh, being around Adelaide makes me feel calm and satisfied. The contented... Contentedness of her is contagious, and all the world's troubles seem to be less frightening. Oh, that's kind of neat. But I'm not stressed out anymore, which is good. Means my guy might live a little longer. So we have a 39% war score here. So, so far, things are going fairly well. Looks like my allies are doing some work in the north part of the, the country. Um, okay, that doesn't matter, doesn't matter, da, 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 da. I, I, I know there was something I wanted to check here, but... I don't know. Whatever. Oh, cool! We have some more money coming in. Yes, this is another thing that we do need to, uh, work on, is refilling our treasury, and ties and other money-gaining events are decent ways to do that. Unfortunately, we haven't really been able to hold any kind of summer fair or anything lately, but then again, investing in this character at this point in his life seems like a bit of a waste. So, probably wouldn't hold them, even if we could. Now, the next little bit, I think, is going to be spent in a lot of wars. Uh, just because we're kind of in a position where things are kind of crumbling around us. Actually, it looks like Burgundy reformed. Which is good for them, I guess. Are they still kind of weak? Um, what am I looking for here? No, actually, they managed to pick up quite a few troops, so they're not as weak as they were before. But maybe actually it would be worthwhile having them as an ally, 
because I'm not so much, I'm not really interested in this bit of land for now. Like, I think this is the only piece of land I'm interested in, which belongs to Italy, which, you know, that's not really a thing I'm going to want to do. Actually, they're not as strong as they used to be. Maybe that is something I want to do in time. Either way, it's not something I'm going to worry about just uh, the uh, at the beginning here. Uh, all right, perfect. So with that, we're going to actually move him. Does this one still have? It does not. I need to make sure that my troops are being improved in all the places. So that'll give me some more levy reinforcements for at least a year. All right, we'll soon have this all sieged out. And then we can maybe move up through here. We'll kind of see where our war score sits after that. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have this one fairly handily. It's handy that he threw himself into a defensive war against me and lost. Because it really sapped a lot of his strength. Or, sorry, he tried to attack me and lost. I was in a defensive war against him. Um, because doing so really sapped a lot of his strength. I don't think we're at a place we can pick up any retinues yet. Wow, man, my forces are just getting ravaged by these events. Holy shit. We're down to 900 men. All right. Oh, wow. Bourbon got the uh, levy reinforcement thing really quickly there as well. Yeah, I guess he is a like level 19 marshal. That's really freaking good. Um, so first of March, we'll have to try to get him doing something else. Holy shit! Stop killing my freaking dudes! Cocksuckers. Like, I'm down to 700 men because of these goddamn events. Uh, I have like 600 men I could, you know, bring back if I dismiss them, but I'm not going to bother at this point. My allies are giving me enough that I'm not too, too worried about it. I'm just going to move into here. Kill them off. Where are you guys going? Dijon, no, you guys have to help me. Get back up here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, come on, guys. There we go. So we'll siege this down, and that should hopefully give us the last bit of war score we need to declare ourselves the victor in this war. Again, it looks like our allies are doing some work up north. Yeah, man, the King of France is just getting freaking wrecked faced. Oh, uh, what's this do? Oh, wow, that's actually a really good trait to have. Um, what was I looking for here, though? I wanted to see what his... Yeah, he's got about 400 men in his personal... Oh, cool, we have a technological advance. It's been a while since we got one of those. Uh, 93%. All right, so one more siege and we should be good. What can I actually improve? It's a military tech. Let's see... Ahead of time penalty of like 50%, so let's not do that. Shipbuilding, I don't really need ships. Um, that would make me able to siege better. Let's go ahead and up my light infantry, actually. Because that gives me better light infantry and archers, which make up the majority of what we have right now. Alright, and that is us, the uh, winner of the war. So Nevers is now ours. We can go ahead and run away here. Now, how long does that truce last? Um, where's the truce timer? Can I just go right back into another war? Uh, I think I can. Go ahead and dismiss these guys. Oh, you know what? It's probably because that was a de jure war that I don't need to worry about a truce. What's this? Where are my levies? I don't have any levies raised. Oh, I completely forgot about these guys just sitting down there in the limousine. It's like, hey, we're, we're gathering up. Is there a war to fight? Um, all right, right on. Uh, so let's go ahead and... God damn it, why do all my kids suck? so much and he picked up ambitious son of bitch that's also really bad i mean 
Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna check earlier now. I wanted to make sure that my dude was... My heir was still the one being supported, and yeah, by a long shot. Alright, now. Let's go ahead. This guy. Declare war. He's currently uh, defending against heathens, though. Do I care about my piety? Not really. Not really. Not when I can kind of... Keep, uh... You know, boosting my kingdom here. So there's one thing I want to check. Uh, see, I really wish... I mean, I suppose I could count it out. But I really wish I could tell... Kind of what... Like, how much of this I owned. Um... Yeah. What's this? Um... Hold up, hold up. So, Otto of East Francia is declaring a war against the, uh, these guys, right? Who I also am allied with, I think. Double check something here. Oops, pause the game. Alright, Otto, the king of East Francia. Oh wait, the guy I was allied with must have died or something? Why do you not like me? Called into war. Oh. Let me guess, you probably... Oops, uh, go into my own allies here. Yeah, you don't seem to mind. You do. You want, just to, again, keep the opinion up, I'm going to accept that. Uh, that's a much larger front than I was expecting to see. I actually really don't like that. I should have maybe declined. That would have been the smarter move. Shit. Um, well, I think I might still go to war myself here. Um... Oh wait, no, I do ha I do have a truce with him. Okay. Why am I not seeing that here? Yeah, here we go. Um King Barnett the Wise until 1932, so quite a while. Where are they going? They're traveling to Burgundy. Wait, what? No, Savoy. So they're going that way. Huh. Well, I do have another... What are you? Not landed. You're... Yeah, okay. I don't care about pressing that claim at all. See, so I'm debating with myself whether I want to raise my troops for this or not. In some ways, I kind of don't, because, you know, I'm going to raise my troops just as a, a bit of a defensive measure. We're going to keep them deep inside my own territory so I can kind of see them coming long before I have to commit my troops. And if it's going to be like a, the type of thing where I'm just going to get slaughtered, I'll just disband my troops. You know, because there's no point in leaving them around to get killed. I need my troops for other things. But hopefully he either wins or loses this war quickly. I don't really care which, I just want it over and done with. Alright. So while we wait on that... We do have some unlanded sons. Unfortunately, all my sons are... Like, holy shit. <laughs> Take a look at some of my other sons here. This guy's actually not too bad. He's a 12, so I mean, could be better. I really should, um, you know, marry them off so that they're not really... ...in the way. Alright, let's try to find some uh, 
wives for my sons here. Uh, Jasper Capet, my son, claims that he would be a better steward than Count Joslyn. Joslyn uh, has a stewardship of 14. You have a stewardship of 15. So technically true. I'm going to say, though, give Joslyn a chance and we'll see how well he does. So that being said, I might actually just marry you off because you do have the ambitious trait. Anyways, as I was saying, let's go through and see if we can't find some uh, wives for my various sons here. Kind of move things over so I can make sure that I'm not about to get attacked. Let me see. You are the Countess of Vass, which is where? All the way over there. All right. I think that can that wouldn't be a horrible arrangement. I'll get him out of here. Uh. All right. So we do have a, another commander that can be assigned. Sign you. Okay, so far it looks like we're going to be left alone. Take a look at some of my other kids here. Uh, yeah, you were the one I just married off. You next. Countess of Anjou. Don't want to marry them off to anybody too important. Uh, pause for a quick second here. That would give me an alliance with Anju, but that's not really going to help all that much, actually. We could get an alliance with the Wimario of... Where the hell is this? Down here. I don't plan to be down there for quite a while. But they're close enough that they might be willing to send people into war if I were to call them in. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. He's almost of age, too. He doesn't have anything that I'd want for my own marriage, so yeah. Send him off to there. Gain a little bit of prestige from it, but I'm not too, too worried about any of that. Um, let's see here. How is my own son doing? Uh, he has had a, ki a kid. Three years old. See, this is the problem with getting your heir married early. Is that they tend to have kids and they tend to raise them the way that they want to, which is not generally the way that I would want them raised, but... Alright, you are betrothed, I think. Right? Pretty sure you were the one I just betrothed. Oh, it looks like my daughter just came back. Uh, okay, so yeah, so you know, now you should be betrothed. Right? Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, so her husband was the- Oh, no! Ah, oh, ball sacks. So there goes our alliance with East Francia. Who leads East Francia now? You do. I really want that alliance, because East Francia was doing a lot of work for us. We arrange a betrothal? he's, what, 14, so he's almost of age. With my daughter. No, why? She's past childbearing age. Son of bastard. Can we marry him off to somebody else? 57, 33, no. Hmm. That is really, really freaking unfortunate. So I don't have any other way to secure that... ...marriage, I don't think. Maybe I can arrange a betrothal this way. With... No. She would need to be in my own court. Hmm. 
Which I could do if I were to offer to foster her, which I don't think I can do. Yeah, no, I can... Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Ah, I really need that alliance! Am I getting that alliance some other way? Like, am I just wasting my time here? Um... No, my alliances have basically shattered away. That is a real shame. Are we still set to marry this guy? We are. Uh, he's not able to bring a ton of troops to us, though, unfortunately. Well, shit! Um... Let me see. We proposed that Prince Alfando of Austerz and Silesil Capet. So you want... Where are you guys at? You're the king of Austerz? I don't know where that is. Where's your, where's your primary seat? You're like, all the way down there. Yet. I don't know why it pointed me up there. Oh, maybe you're leading troops or something. Um... You know what? She's- I can't marry her off to anybody else to get an alliance. Maybe that alliance will be kind of my saving grace in the days to come. Either way, this episode has gone way over time. So guys, thank you very much for watching. A little bit of an unfortunate turn of events with uh, the King of East Francia dying in battle, but nothing we could really do about it. Uh, but either way, I hope you guys will join me for the next episode of Crusader Kings 2. So long.